I'd like to talk to you today about the importance of maintenance with your split system air conditioner. This is especially important when you live in the tropics where bacteria and mould are much more prevalent than what you get in drier climates and how that impacts on the running of the air conditioner as well as the health aspects involved with it as well. Now to understand the importance of maintenance it's probably best to understand how an air conditioner actually works. Now, air conditioners work by recycling air. Air will come through the top and the front of the air conditioner and be pushed out through the bottom of the air conditioner, coming out colder. Now, the capacity of the machine will depend on how many air changes through that machine the room will get per hour. Now, if we have a dirty fan barrel, which sits under here, or a dirty filters or coil, which you have under there, it will reduce the amount of airflow that the unit has, thus reducing the capacity, which will make the unit run longer, harder, will wear out quicker, and will also have mould and bacteria being circulated through your room, and um, this is how we fix it. First of all, to describe the effect on the fan itself, I'll show you a this is a fan barrel we pulled out of the dirty air conditioner. As you can see, there is literally mould embedded all over the blades of the fan itself. Now what happens when mould gets on these blades, it actually puts a coating on the leading edge of the fan and will stop the ability for that blade to cut through the air and move air through the unit. Also, the coil itself, which is behind here, which I'll show you in a minute, when it gets blocked up with mould and gunk, it will also inhibit airflow. Now, what we're going to do today is we're actually going to clean this air conditioner, as I would recommend everybody have done. Now, as you can see, the air conditioner itself, we put a tarp underneath it, and although you can't see it, I've got some, some towels lying on the floor to catch all the water. And what we're going to do is give the air conditioner a three part process. We're going to clean it with coil cleaner, which is basically a heavy duty alkaline, which will remove any organic matter from the coil itself, and will also flush out through the drainage system and will get rid of all the gunk that builds up, all the slime that's, that's in the drain pan. Secondly, we will spray the unit with uh, a mould inhibitor. This is a natural product made from clove oil of which we spray the unit thoroughly after we've cleaned it. This will dry and leave a film on the air conditioner which will actually kill any spores that may be left and will also stop any new ones from growing for a long period of time. Thirdly, what we do is we put a chemical tablet in the drainage system. As you can see, there are a little pellet. We put one of those in the drain pan and they dissolve over a three month period, which will keep any more slime and, and algae buildup throughout the drainage system. So, to get into it, first of all, Remove the filters. And so, as you can see, these are quite putrid. The, this air conditioner is, uh, belongs to one of our rentals through a real estate agent. And as you can see, the tenants weren't very proactive in keeping the filters clean. Uh, towards the top of the filter, you can see it's almost 100% blocked. Uh, that would be impacting on that machine by a minimum of 30%. Secondly, we pull the front cover off our unit.
Now this would be taken outside along with the filters and actually washed with a hose first and then we'd actually put some, some alkaline cleaner on that to kill any dirt and you know, algae bacteria that you can see growing on the inside of the, uh, the casing. So we take that outside and clean it. Our filters would also be taken outside, hosed thoroughly and given a, a, a chemical treatment as well just to make sure there's no gunk left on those. As you can see here, this is what we call a coil, which is basically thousands of small aluminium fittings that has air passed through them. Works very much like the radiator on a car. It passes air through it and dissipates heat, or in this case, coal. So, secondly, we remove the fan back, the fan blade. Again, you can see it's Quite, quite filthy. By the way, we serviced this air conditioner 12 months ago, so it just goes to show how much gunk can actually build up in a period of 12 months if the unit isn't looked after. Thirdly, pull out Outside, along with the casing and the filters and give them all a thorough clean. And there we have it. It's, uh, it's ready to go. We'll put some gloves on because uh, the chemicals that we use are quite corrosive. But We've been doing this for such a long time that we've found, we've tried many chemicals over the years and I've found that strong alkalines seem to have the best results. So that's what we're using. Now we, we wet the coil. because the chemical seems to work better on a wet surface. Then we get our coil cleaner and simply apply to the aluminium fins. Also apply the coil cleaner to the fan barrel. Now, as you can see, the, the coil cleaner is starting to work. It's got a foaming agent that gets right into the middle of the coil, lifts off the rubbish, and the foam pushes that rubbish out to the front. Now, 
you'll see that uh, a big build up of foam is growing on the coil. That's perfectly normal. We, we actually want that rubbish to, to come out. And also, if you were to feel it, you can actually feel the heat coming off that due to the chemical reaction that's happening. So, generally speaking, we leave that there for roughly about you know, five minutes or so. Let it do its work. I'll also spray a little bit on other surfaces that have mould growing on them. Now, what's happening here is this is this little pan that's underneath the air conditioner right here. This is where all the water that comes from the air conditioner drains into. So generally speaking, that's full of sludge. So by going through this process, the alkaline chemical cleaner fills up this pan, which also eats any rubbish that's in the pan, and the drain for the air conditioner, which in this case is out the wall, however, in many cases is actually in the wall, um, all this chemical is going down through the drainage system which will basically flush it out. Now, I can see that it's the foam has stopped growing, which, which tells me the chemical reaction has finished doing what it's doing, all the, the alkaline is basically eating as much rubbish as it can, and now we're going to wash it off. By the way, this process may need to be repeated more than once, depending on the, the dirtiness of the coil. We find that a lot of resorts and things like that, their air conditioners are basically turned on 24-7 and they build up such an amount that they need a few treatments to actually get them back to a bright, shiny aluminium. But our next step is to flush As you can see, the whole coil is now back to beautifully bright aluminium with all the rubbish being pushed down through the coil into the drain pan and then back out through the wall. That's about 99% of how it was originally installed, which means the capacity is back up to what it basically was meant to run at. Now we will do the fan.
So that's basically the cleaning process done. Now the, uh, the cleaning up process begins. Put our blades back on. We put our nice, shiny, bright, clean louver back on. As so. Now at this point, we get our clove-based mould removal or mould inhibitor. Cloves are a natural inhibitor of moulds and so too are tea tree oils and things like that. So we try and be as uh, environmentally friendly as we can. The mould inhibitor, we spray throughout the whole air conditioner. Spraying all the louvers and all the fans. At this point, I also like to spray the inside. As you can see, our filters are lovely and clean, as they should be. First of all, mould inhibitor. Spray the inside and the front cover. And that is how we service an air conditioner. As you can see, that is beautifully clean. The mould inhibitor should stop mould growing for at least a few months. And right before we leave, we will put a chemical tablet into the drainage can. 
And as the air conditioner will make water during the, the cooler months, uh, sorry, the, uh, the, the hot months, air conditioner will make water. That tablet will dissolve and that will keep that drainage system beautifully clean and hopefully get us through into the drier season where we're using the air conditioner for winter and drainage isn't a problem. As you can see, that usually takes anywhere up to an hour depending on how dirty the air conditioner is. And it's a simple process to keep your air conditioner running to 100% capacity, which will give it ultimately longer life. Thank you.